Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Shares and Speed. Today, unlike other videos that I've done where you've seen me riding around on this thing, today I thought we'd take a little tour around. I've seen on some of the forums that uh, are dedicated to the Yamaha Tracer or MT-09 um, show pictures of various things that have been changed on the bike and I thought that'd be a good idea if um, I made a video about my bike and that the changes that I've made um, to it since I've had it. But I'll just start off by saying that this is a 2018 Yamaha Tracer 900 that I bought back in 2018 from Tinklers of Norwich. The dealership there are great and I have no complaints. And there are one or two things that I had fitted before the bike was delivered to me. Um, so we'll go through them in a bit of detail. So the first two things I had fitted when this was delivered to me was this little fender extender here. Um, I found that that was quite useful on a previous bike that I had that to stop the uh, crud being from being chucked up on into the radiator here, which was very useful, keeps preserves the radiator, and I think removes the need for a radiator cover of some sort. And the other thing I had fitted were these RNG uh, aero crash buns, which I thought would protect the old side cases from any damage should I throw the thing down the road. That's not something I'm intending to do, I have to say, but one never knows, does one? So that's what they're there for. I have been looking at other areas of protection, uh, but whether I shall go and do that or not, I'm not quite sure. But that is the, t the first two um, additions I made to the bike, uh, which was done before I received the bike or to had it delivered to me. So the other addition I made on, uh, on collecting this motorcycle was to change the indicators. I decided that the uh, lights that were very good, uh, the LED arrays were very good, which I quite liked, but the bulb um, indicators I was not so keen on. So I opted to spend the £200, which I know is a bit expensive, but I thought they were worth it, uh, to have these LED plus indicators fitted before I took delivery. They are integrated brake lights as well as indicators, as I shall now demonstrate. <laughs> and the indicators as well. And they also, on the front, they are indicators as well as integrated um, running lights as well. Now these look pretty good, uh, so I'm told when I'm approaching, and they look very smart um, in you know, poor light as well, as well as good light, so that you can obviously be seen. And obviously the better that we are seen on the road, uh, the safer that we'll all be. So one of the first things that are changed on one of these um, is the screen. Uh, most people don't get on very well with the standard screen and I'm no exception. I'm quite tall so I expected the wind to come over the top of me um, so I wanted something a bit taller and I eventually settled on one of these which is a skid mark screen. Um, I did consider a Puig from Pyramid Plastics but um, I wasn't quite sure about the look of that and I prefer the look of this. It gives it a nice stealthy look and also um, it also makes gives good wind protection. The air goes up and over the top of the screen and protects the rider from um, wind blast and it also um, in the higher position makes good uh, protection for dual carriageway and motorway riding. So I find that this has been a really worthy addition. It is sometimes a little noisy and it can be a little flexible but, um, the, other, uh, but the, the, the pluses far outweigh the minuses and the other thing is it hides my rear view camera quite well. So probably the biggest change I've made to this since I've had it is the suspension. Um, I found it um, a little lacking. It was probably not sprung for somebody of my weight, which is around 95 kilos, fully loaded as it were. Um, and so I had upgraded springs put in the front, different fork oil, and a new shock on the back. Now that has made a world of difference together with these lovely Rotec 01 Metzler tyres, which have really improved things no end. And I think now it's probably the complete motorcycle and probably how it should have been really when it came out of the shop. Took a little time to get there, but we got there in the end. So getting to the end now, but um, uh, it's, uh, I'd just like to show you the uh, additions up here. I put this uh, Jivy tank bag on, which I find is extremely useful when uh, traveling around the countryside. It holds everything I need in one place. I hate having things in my pocket, so it's almost like a lady's handbag, I guess, where everything is being stored. Any, anything that I take with me is in here, um, and it clicks off quite nicely and easily um, for me to carry around with me. And also, while we're here, I have this um, Tom Tom 450 sat nav installed. It turns itself on when I turn the ignition on, so it's ready to go, and it gives me uh, 
good, good uh, reliable service. Um, the, th the one thing about this, of course, is as well is that it's linked to my headset on, in my helmet, so I can get the turn-by-turn -turn signals as well, uh, or instructions, if you like. Um, and in fact, um, I thought that maybe it might be of interest if you if you are interested, um, I might be able to put a video together that would um, go through all the electronics that I have on here and how they work in conjunction with my uh, helmet setup. So if you'd like to see that, then uh, leave me a message in the in the description below. Well, that just about concludes my tour around the old Yamaha. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was useful. Um, if you're an existing owner, you might uh, might like to um, maybe consider some of the changes that I've made or not, but um, I always think it's quite useful. I know that on some of the forums, as I mentioned earlier, there's an awful lot of stuff going on about the changes made to these, so I thought it'd be useful to make this video to describe the changes that I've made and I'd be interested to hear what you think so leave a leave a message in below and let me know what you think and uh, I hope to see you again soon please click the subscribe button if you've enjoyed this video uh, because there are plenty, there's plenty more content coming this year and uh, I hope to see you all soon so this is Shutters and Speed signing off for now bye This gives a really comfortable ride, and it's almost it's almost like sitting in a car. It's probably a bit hard, a bit <laughs> a bit um, starving. Uh, that was one of the additions, and also on the front, which I hope will, there will be a video of soon, uh, or a, a snap a snap of soon. Um, there will be a snap of the front front ones as well.